Oh man, I finally got my hands on one, one of the new Jurassic Pros here. Now I feel like when this came out, I feel like it came out on the East Coast and just kind of came over to the West Coast because I've seen a lot of people get these and I'm like, oh my gosh. And I've been trying to get it on, you know, the Walmart's website and everything like that forever. They're finally available, at least in my area. So, hey, here we go. And man, uh, this thing is, look at it. I mean, it doesn't even fit into the uh, camera frame here. This is probably one of the largest blasters that I've seen recently, instead of, of course, the new sniper here, which is kind of crazy, but still, this, uh, this is no joke. So I first want to go and show you guys this thing in the hands because it is, is nice. It is, <laughs> it is nice. It is nice knowing that you have the performance in this, right? Just because it's a sniper, a lot of times you only get that 60, 70, maybe 80 FPS mark, but you guys know uh, the Adventure Force line usually comes in right about at 140, and I'm like, that is exactly what I need. But look at that. Look at that in the hands. Um, one of the things about this that I really like is from the initial uh, Jurassic Park, uh, and I haven't seen the new one out yet, but the initial one, they have kind of that mosquito, you know, inside the amber here, which kind of started the whole research and development. And that looks cool. If you guys can kind of see this, especially when it hits the light outside, it looks awesome. There's like a little mosquito in there. I'm like, oh man, okay. That freaking rocks, tying in the movie very, very well. But again, I will see Jurassic Park Dominion or whatever it is. I'll probably see this soon. I just haven't seen it. Now, I do know there are um, already some stock kits and things like that built because this is a little flimsy. So this is not a set it in it, forget it. This is a set it in and then you push the two side buttons ugh, and it just drops out. Now, it's a lot easier than I make it look because it's at a kind of a different angle. But if you see there, yeah, it's pretty easy to kind of put in or take out if you decide to put a new stock on it. I still think think the stock stock looks great, but I think with a different stock, it would look even better. It does have the classic, uh, you know, a mag adapter, the short dart mag, as well as the full length dart mag. Both are great. I, th I still think the industry standard right now is, you know, half length darts. I think that's pretty much what everybody is using. I rarely see full length darts. I mean, from time to time, but I rarely kind of see it. It does have a lot of cool kind of accessories on the top there. It has the flip up iron sights. Now one comes on it, the other one comes in the box and then it has, I don't even know what you want to call it. It's kind of like a pseudo scope. I don't even know what you want to call it, but it is cool. It looks really, really nice. One of the things that I noticed though is the orange that is on this is definitely different from a lot of the uh, orange shade that we see like on the Conquest, the Nexus Pro. So if you look at this, this is kind of like a lighter orange. I don't know if that has to do something with, I don't know, the, um, the, the, you know, the whole Jurassic World theme. I don't know, but it is lighter, but still, I, I mean, it looks cool. So I don't know. I'm just kind of throwing that out there. If some of you guys are looking to make sure they have the same orange across the screen. Now the barrel is a two piece barrel, which again is not a set it and forget it. It's pretty much a lock and twist. So you can just pull it out. And the front up here, it's just kind of pressure fits on, our friction fits on, and then this back piece slides into two slots, twist, and then it's on, and then you can just readjust the front accordingly. I am probably going to make a different muzzle for this. I've already seen some, but that is really, really easy. So I'll probably make something. I don't know what yet, but I will make something for that. And the um, cocking mechanism here, you know, this is awesome. This is a nice, you know, screwed in piece. It's not a screw in and you're stuck. You can flip flop it on either side. So if you're right-handed, left-handed, whatever makes sense for you, you can put it on that side, screw it in and then take it out if need be, you know, when you want to travel with it or something like that. So it's not sticking out. But overall guys, I mean, look at that. It looks good. It looks real good. I was super pumped for this. So let's go out and shoot this thing. So, you know, average performance when it comes to uh, half length darts, you're getting around 140-ish, somewhere right in there. I did try the classic Dart Zone Pro uh, red ones. I did try the Adventure Force stuff. Shot a couple types out of there. And for the most part, yeah, the Adventure Force, um, the darker colored darts are the ones it loves. It loves at about 140 on short darts. Uh, full length darts is a little bit slower, right? Just because it's a bigger dart. Those are still coming in right about 125, 130, which is very respectable. Um, and these things hit hard. I mean, it, it is every product that I get from Adventure Force on kind of this Nexus line, everything like those, all of these right out of, I mean, right from the box to your backyard or to your game are, are basically like tournament ready. You just you take it out of the box, you put your darts in it and it's ready to go. You don't need to modify it in any way. So you can see here, it's hitting pretty good. I'm about 25 feet away. Those uh, solo cups, Dixie cups there, they are stacked three high. So they got a little, they got a little bit of weight to them. You got to hit them pretty hard to hit, but 
yeah, I had no problem shooting this thing. Just shoot, 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 shoot. Go pick them up, restack, shoot, 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 shoot. And they hit hard. So 140, 130 respectively with the darts is awesome performance stock out of a blaster. I always say go back and watch that if you guys want to see it. But, you know, overall, guys, this thing absolutely rocks. The darts that come with it are the standard darts that you typically see. We got the, you know, the classic short length darts. You got the classic full length darts. I mean, nothing new here. We know those things are pretty much the industry standard from what we've seen. And they just flat out work great. Um, man, I don't know what else to say about this thing other than it rocks. All the other reviews I've seen on it, you know, people have great things to say. And this is really one of the first bolt action snipers that meet that level of performance that I would like, uh, especially when I go to different wars and things like that, where you actually can shoot it, you know, you're shooting and you get that kind of, um, you know, mechanism, you get that feel. And, and, and for me, this is kind of fulfills that role, but still look at that. I got some upgrades I want to do to it. Definitely for sure. There are some upgrades I want to do. Um, just cosmetic stuff. I think the performance is great. I think this is going to be great for, you know, some of the kids and things like that. that come to some of the wars that maybe, you know, hey, they don't want to use a Nexus Pro. They want to, they want to have that bolt action. They want to feel that. And so I'm like, yeah, here you go. So I'm going to modify just a little bit of this. I might modify the stock. I don't know yet, but I'm definitely going to modify uh, the front with something up here. But overall, guys, it's a great buy. I think this thing is awesome. Adventure Force stuff always, to me, sets the bar for kind of that upper tier of nerf type blasters, right? Sets that upper tier. But yeah, this thing is great out of the box. I got nothing bad to say about it. If you can get your hands in one, I'd get your hands in one. Everybody needs a, a good bolt action blaster inside their inventory without, you know, being like a two, three hundred dollar blaster. This thing is, uh, this thing's rocking. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Leave it down in the comments. I am always curious. Thanks again, Fox fans.